Southern Republicans like to say their fetish for the Confederacy is all about Southern chivalry and honor. Well, that's a myth. And now Mississippi Governor Haley Barber is smack dab in the middle of it. The state's NAACP wants the governor of Mississippi to speak out against a proposal for a special license plate to honor Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest. But Barber, he won't take a stand. A group called the Sons of Confederate Veterans proposed the license plate. They say it has nothing to do with Forrest being the first grand wizard of the KKK. No, other than that Forrest was just really a swell guy. Well, let me tell you about Nathan Bedford Forrest, Southern gentleman. He became a self-made man by selling other men. That's right, he was a slave trader. He whipped his slaves personally. The women he reportedly had stripped naked before lashing them with the whip soaked in salt water. During the war, he shot anyone he thought was a deserter, including a boy, a boy who turned out to be innocent. See this illustration? It appeared in Harper's Weekly, May 21st, 1864, after a Union general revealed that Forrest personally shot a free black civilian worker working for the Union. Uh, and let me tell you about Forrest's honor in battle. A congressional report from 1864 refers to, quote, the same bad faith and treachery that seemed to have become the settled policy of Forrest. Specifically, Forrest liked to send flags of truce to Union forces and against the rules of engagement, move his own troops to better positions while the Union generals weighed his offer. That's what happened at Fort Pillow, where Forrest massacred hundreds of black and white Union soldiers as they tried to surrender. A Confederate sergeant wrote, quote, I, with several others, tried to stop the butchery and at one time partially succeeded, but General Forrest ordered them shot down like dogs, and the carnage continued. Southern honor. And this is the Mississippi man, the governor, Haley Barber, uh, who refuses to take a position on. Joining me now is Derek Johnson, president of the NAACP and Mississippi State Conference. Sir, thanks for your time tonight. What have you heard from... Thank you for having me. You bet. What, what have you heard from Governor Barber on this issue? Well, today we haven't heard anything. Uh, we were surprised and appalled when we heard the news that this organization was going to seek an official license plate honoring, honoring Nathan Beth uh, Forrest. Uh, to us, he's a domestic terrorist. He should not be honored uh, with any official seal or, or anything uh, from the state of Mississippi. It is ironic that we look at individuals like Osama bin Laden and Terry McVay, and we call them terrorists, and we disregard the fact that individuals like Nathan Bedford Forrest, they terrorized African-American citizens of this country for many years until we finally was able to get the federal government to intervene. Mr. Johnson, what does it say about the group of people who want this man on a license plate? Uh, what is the atmosphere in Mississippi? Well, it's a combination. One, you, it, they demonstrate how far Mississippi and the South still have to go. Secondly, it also demonstrates the type of atmosphere that the governor has allowed to fester in the state. As the head of the state, we have asked him to come out and, and denounce their activities, their statement. This is very similar to uh, Senator Trent Lott uh, honoring, uh, paying tribute to Storm Thurmond, uh, uh, the, the Council for Conservative Citizens, and their existence in the state of Mississippi and across the South, at some point, Southern, Southerners across this country must stand up and say, you know, the, the Civil War was wrong, that we should not have succeeded from the Union. It was an act of treason. And the, the human beings for which we tried to hold in bondage should be respected and honored uh, uh, today as, as they should have been uh, respected and honored uh, uh, before. And what happens if Governor Barber goes ahead with the license plate and, and has them manufactured and put on cars in the state? What happens then? 
But it'll be interesting to see how far his, pres- his bid for the presidency uh, go if he seeks to uh, be silent on this issue and it demonstrates how he will govern as president. We need to move forward as a country, as a unified country, respecting and honoring all, all of our citizens and not uh, divided the way we were in the past. And the Governor Barber now has an opportunity to stand up and be a, a true leader of this state. And why he isn't he doing that? And, and, and Mr. Johnson, why isn't the governor standing up and saying we're not going down that road? It seems like he doesn't want to uh, separate himself from the very people who are proposing this. He thinks there must be some political downside and and uh, the black folks of Mississippi are just going to have to accept this. How do you feel about that? What should he do? Well, I think... It's offensive. Well, you know, we have the highest percentage of African Americans in any other uh, state in this country. It demonstrates uh, what African Americans had to deal with in our public po- in public policy for the last eight years since he's been governor. Uh, it, uh, this type of attitude has has showed revealed itself in how our education policies have been handled down, Medicaid, and other programs that will support. But the is the governor afraid of all it, 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 Is the governor afraid of these people? Is he is he is this movement so strong or I guess you could say rednecks? <laughs> uh, I, I, don't, I don't I don't know if that's the proper term, but where I come from, that's what they would be called. Uh, that it's archaic thinking. It's not moving forward. It's not progressive. It's not respectful. And the governor of Mississippi will not say no to this. What does that say? Well, this is a question of his integrity, of where his his moral compass lies, and whether or not he's willing to stand up like the rest of Americans and say this type of racial hatred, this type of racial attitude should not and will not be tolerated in Mississippi and should not and will be not tolerated in this country. Do you think the people of Mississippi know just uh, how bad a guy Nathan Bedford Forrest was and the things he did? Is it is it well known? I mean, they're they're propping this guy up. Not to be Robert E. Lee, they're saying that this, because he, he was a, a, a gentleman and had respect, this man had no respect for human rights whatsoever and was, I guess you could say, a terrorist in, in wartime. Well, this is typical Southern reality, that we all know the history of the Christian Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. We all know the involvement of Nathan Bedford Forrest. And it is time now for Mississippians, for Southerners to step step up, stand well, up and say, you know, this is, this is wrong. We need to speak out against this. And it, that, that's, that goes outside of race. And that's the point right now. Is it typical Southern reality that an elected governor of Mississippi will not stand up and declare what is morally right and wrong. Mr. Johnson, good to have you with us tonight. I appreciate your time.